Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany. And before we jump into anything today, I wanted to let you guys know some great news. We do finally have a set upload schedule. So instead of just uploading videos sporadically throughout the week, I will definitely be uploading three videos a week. And I'll be uploading videos on Monday, on Thursday, and on Saturday. And I'm so excited to finally have a schedule. I told y'all I was coming hard for y'all and I wanted to make sure that everything was good, everything was laid out, everything was planned. So I got y'all, don't worry. So make sure you hit the subscribe button before we jump into the video or anything and hit the notification bell still so I don't get drowned out by everybody else you subscribe to and you always know when I upload, I will definitely be uploading on those days. I'm not 100% sure what time yet, but just know all three of those days, y'all will definitely see a video from me. So I thought I would share the good news with you guys because I was very proud that I finally made a schedule and y'all should be proud too. But today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on how I got this look. And I think it came out super cute, you know, super smoky, super vampy, but like what's new that's like me. So, I like, you're not surprised. I know you're not. If you watch my other videos, I know I live for a good smoky eye. So if you want to see how I got this look, then make sure you stay tuned to the video. That last video was a voiceover, but not this one. I'm back at it again, running my mouth on camera. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. So my eye is stained. If you can't tell, it's super pink from me trying to figure out what I was actually going to do today. And oddly enough, what stained my eyes, not even look I'm gonna do, but it's fine. We're just gonna jump right into it. So I'm gonna moisturize my face with my Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Moisturizer. No, I don't suffer from acne, but this moisturizer works really good with my skin and honestly some stuff i try breaks me out so um this works and this doesn't so that's what we're doing and then i'm going to go ahead and prime with my maybelline a master prime this is the blur and smooth one so i'm gonna give y'all a fair warning aiden in the living room so you're probably gonna hear him making his little noises because that's what he does and i promise y'all he only makes the noises while i'm trying to record it's like he knows what i'm doing in here like really it be your own people even your own kids like it be your own people for foundation today i'm going to go into one of my favorites this is the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation and i do have it in the shade warm mahogany so i haven't used her in a little while and i feel like i've kind of been neglecting her like a little bit like not even a little bit a lot of bit can you even tell where foundation isn't and where it is like i really have no foundation on my forehead nyx went the off okay now i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and i'm probably gonna use this this is the precisely my brow in the shade number four so i'm gonna do these off camera and clean them up and then i'm gonna be right back First of all, let's just talk about how much brows change your life. It takes you from like a 5 to like a 25. Like, and if it doesn't, sis, tell me what does. Tell me down below what does it for you if brows don't do it for you. Because brows do it for me, sis. All right. So I did go ahead and clean up my eyes. What? My eyebrows with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn. And that is also what I prime my eyelids with today before I put on my eyeshadow. So we are going back to an oldie but a goodie. She not really old. Just haven't used her in a while. Um, my Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. Y'all already know I love her. She is very much used, very well employed. And I think I'm going to go for something like, I don't know, don't even want to lie to you guys. But I'm going to dip into this shade Baja. Y'all knew I was going to use that. I didn't even have to tell y'all. But y'all knew I was going to use that, all right? And that's going to be a transition color. Ugh, this palette man bless you honey oh this color is so freaking pretty it looks even better on camera than it does in person like it looks good in person but on camera it's like in your face okay next we're gonna take this purple shade what is this called hell ride and let me find a brush to put that on my eye I guess I'll use this. This is the M505. And this is a little smaller than the brush I was using prior to this. So I'm going to pop this in my crease. Oh, man. I miss this palette. I don't know why I haven't used it in so long. But I miss it. Look at that. The colors blend together without me even having to, like, break a sweat or anything. 
like Urban Decay, hey, call me. Oh, look at her, look at her, look at her, look at her. Make sure the edges is diffused and blended out. Oh, it's Thursday, by the way, and tomorrow's Friday. And I don't got to do this weekend or nothing, so I'm pretty lit. Like, just like a little bit, I'm pretty lit. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this color or this color. Like, both of them are super pretty, but, like, maybe I'll do a mix. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a mix. So, I'm going to take that one. I guess this Alamar brush because my M124 brush, I used it to put my hair glue on my hair. So that's kind of messed up right now. And I don't want to talk about it because I'm a little distraught. So I'm going to take the, nope, the darker shade and that is the shade Radio. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush with this, um, what is this? Hangover RX spray. And then I'm going to pack this on my lid. This color is so pretty. Then I think I'm going to go in the corner. Should I like darken this or like don't darken it? I don't think I want to go so far as to use black. So I'm going to take this brown shade and it's called Punk. And I'm going to pop that on the outer corner, like the outer V. And then like sweep it into my crease. Because I feel like black will be like OD for this. See, that deepened it up a good amount, I think. Yeah, black will be OD. So I'm glad I didn't put the black. I'm back. I did put some lashes on. These are the Pure Bombshell Lashes. I know I wear these, like, every video. But... So what? What are you going to do? Fight me? Oh, I didn't think so. So for concealer today, we're gonna take the NYX Can Stop Won't Stop in Mahogany, cause I figured why not? We're using the foundation, you know, go big or go home, sis. And if you haven't tried this concealer, then I would definitely highly recommend that you do because it is super full coverage. And if you love the foundation, you'll love the concealer. Like, it's bomb. Don't even want to lie to y'all. Don't want to hold y'all. Don't want to talk too much about it. But it is really good. So if ever you were trying to figure out if you wanted to get it, let your cousin Tiffany tell you, you should get it. I'm going to use, I guess, this black opal foundation stick and black walnut because um, I don't know where my match stick is. And I'm pretty sure... It is just in the wrong drawer because like my stuff is in drawers and I don't know what drawer it is. So I'm sure it's not lost nowhere. I just am unsure what drawer it ended up being in because it's definitely not where it's supposed to be. So that's a whole thing. I'm going to blend out my contour with this M439. You know, same old, same old. My lace is not laying down the side if you can see that whatever all right all right all right all right all right all right so i'm gonna blend out my highlighter with this on your cash expunge so i don't know if i got it on camera but these are two for ten dollars at target so would highly recommend you go pick a pack up i don't remember how much they are like normally by themselves they actually weren't even available by themselves, at least not at the Target that I went to. So I don't really want to tell y'all how much they were because I have no idea. So then I'd be lying. So don't want to do that. My face. I look freaking good on my mama, on my hood. I look fly. I look good. So I'm going to take this Laura Mercier powder, the translucent one. I'm going to press down my highlight to make sure I ain't got no creases or whatever. Because don't know if I told y'all, but I have really creasy under eyes. It just is what it is. It's just story of my life. So it's not a product, a product doing it. Um, that's just, it's just me. 
I look like a crazy person, but it's fine. I'm going to use this Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dioro. And just this little blush brush from Morphe. If you ain't never tried Milani Baked Blush, or well, if you ain't never tried blush in general, go pick you up a Milani Baked Blush, all right? Go pick you up one. Go to Walgreens. Go to CVS. I think they have them in Rite Aid. Don't really know what they got in Rite Aid because I don't go in there. Go in freaking, what is it, Target. Target has Milani. Pick you up a baked blush. If you a brown girl, get Rose Dioro. Listen, your whole life going to change. You're not even going to know what to do. Then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty powder in Nutmeg, just so I can dust this powder off my face because I'm looking a little crazy. And I'm gonna tap in there. I'm gonna tap off the excess. Look at my face. This powder is iconic, all right? Fenty, hey girl. I'm gonna take my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and clearly, y'all know what color I'm dipping into. I'm just putting that in the hollows of my cheeks. I don't know where my blue eyeliner is, so I can't use it today. But I'm going to use this NARS liner in Via Veneto. I think that's how you say it. I don't even know. It's just a black. And I'm going to put this on. I'm not mad anymore because this looks good okay now I'm going to wait watch I'm gonna find this freaking liner once I finish now I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna dip back into I guess that purple yes that purple that I put on my crease and I'm gonna take this little brush right here it's the Alomar brush the name is no longer on it though so I can't tell y'all which one it is For highlighter, I haven't used this in a while. This is my Kiss Highlighting Trio. And I think I'm going to go in with a mix of maybe, yeah, these two right here. They're darker than they're looking on camera because as I'm looking in the camera, I'm like, wow, those look OD. Actually, JK, I'm going to take a mix of these two because this one is bronze and this one's like rose gold. She is beaming. Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. I see you. And then I have brown one. I'm going to use Night Moth from MAC. And it's just that plum, like, purple lip liner. Oh, and then I'm going to take this MAC lipstick in Sin. It is a matte. And I'm gonna put this on today. It's like a burgundy color. And I don't know, I think it will look cute. So let me, is that it? Is that it? Yep, that, nope. Girl, she ain't got on the corner highlight. I'm sick of playing myself. For a fool, for a freaking fool. Okay, I'm gonna take this M507 and I'm gonna take that rose gold shade and just pop it right there. I'm just trying, yeah, just open my eye up a little bit. Like, do you see the difference? Y'all probably like, sis, it don't make a difference. It do make a difference. So that is it now. Okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, I love this lip. This is my first time wearing this lipstick and I love it. So let me change because I got my grandma robe on right now and I'm going to be right back. So that was it and that was all for this video. So if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button before you go. Like I told y'all in the beginning, and hit the notification bell so that way every time I upload a video, <laughs> Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, 
you get the notification and you can be here with me but before we get on out of here i just want to talk about my hair really quick y'all have seen this wig several 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 times already this is my hurt imports hair yes i did color it i bleached it all that jazz if y'all want a whole separate video on that let me know down below and i will definitely let you guys know you know all the information about it but i cut it it was super long when i first made the wig and i cut it so how it is right now like in the front is the length that it is all the way around and honestly i love it even more now like i loved it when it was longer but now that i have it like framing my face kind of it's a look it's a vibe and also also actually actually i do make wigs i do color hair and i do color wigs so if you want some bundles dye you want a wig made or you want both then make sure you hit me up and my email is down in the description box or you can just ask me in the comments and i will give you all my contact information you know send your coins my way sis i know y'all like my wigs if you want one, just let me know, and I got you, girl. But that's all I have for this video today. Just wanted to put that little innocent plug on there. You know, your girl got to make crush money on the side, you know. Got to do what I got to do. But like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl, Tiffany. Thank you so, so, so much for watching me talk through this whole thing. And I will definitely put a video right here that you guys can go click on before you even go anywhere. You don't even got to leave. You can just see my face again right there. So I will definitely see y'all in my next video.